<laughs> Lovely to see you all. I hope you're doing well. It does feel like there's been a deepening somehow. And then this sudden realization that there's only two more days. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Just getting into it. Does anyone else feel like they're just getting into it? <laughs> yes. I think we should do 10 days next time, but it's really hard to get Ajahn to do that because his time is a little limited. I think 10 days is much better. Can any of you take another three days off? <laughs> Of course, the retreat shouldn't really end anyway. <laughs> it just changes form. So today I wanted to do something a little bit different. It's the first time I'm leading this kind of meditation, so it's an experiment, and you are the um what do you call the people that want experiments on i don't want to say anything dodgy <laughs> you are my um people who are testing it out and it's called upasamanusati upasamanusati which means contemplation of peace so it's just going to be a few little pointers in the beginning to incline the mind towards peace and peace is one of the designations for Nibbana. Nibbana is known as the highest happiness. And peace is known also as the highest happiness. So the happiness of peace surpasses all other types of happiness. Someone asked yesterday about equanimity or neutral sensations being more pleasant, more peaceful than uh, even pleasure and PT and joy, rapture, inspiration, etc. And that's actually the case, that when the PT, the peace, the happiness gets more refined, it becomes increasingly peaceful and, and blissful in a, another kind of way, in the way of things ending rather than things agitating us, agitating the mind and the senses. So this is actually a contemplation of some of the qualities of Nibbana. And uh, this little verse comes up all over the suttas. Um, but the place that I found it today when I was looking online was in the Giri Mananda Sutta. Um, this is one of the, I think it's the Anguttara 11s, and it's the um, discourse on different kinds of perception that the Buddha praised that can be useful in our path towards enlightenment. And this contemplation of peace or contemplation of Nibbana comes under the contemplation of viraga, which is like dispassion or fading away, things fading, things ending. And also the next one, which is niroda, things ceasing completely. So before they cease, they have to start to fade. So as we reflect on the qualities of Nibbana, we're reflecting also on those other qualities. And I'll just go through them a little bit one by one so that we can maybe incline the mind in that direction to get a deeper sense of peace. Even if we don't yet know what Nibbana is, it can give us an idea. It can point the mind in that direction so that we have a sort of intuition and a taste for these things. So if you would like to make yourselves as comfortable as you possibly can. And of course, as usual, Whatever comes to your mind is your object of meditation. So we're not trying to push anything away in favor of something better, more favorable, more preferred or pleasant to us. We can make peace with whatever is right in front of us now. So as usual, as you close your eyes, coming in contact with the sensations in your body, so moving into the feeling world, away from the world of sights, hopefully it's quiet where you are, so the sounds don't impinge so much. And we learn not to give them importance in the meditation, not to send the mind out here and there. 
but to imagine that the whole world is inside you. The world from where you experience everything lies inside. And as your awareness falls on the body, wherever you wish to begin, making that awareness like a channel through which you can imbue kindness into every part of the body. making that awareness like a channel through which your kindness can flow. And you know it's kindness when things start to soften and relax. Just sweeping your awareness down the body from head to toe. Getting a sense of the whole body sitting. And noticing if any part needs adjusting, moving, relaxing. Giving a little more space. So that all the muscles, all the limbs, Even the skin that binds up the body can relax. As though you could breathe out through every pore of the body. And with that out breath, things loosen. Soften and relax. Giving your body all the time and care that it needs. So it knows it's in the friendly presence of the mind. A mind that's not going to push it around or make it perform in any way. But a mind that works together with the body as a friend. Noticing any peace that you experience in the body, in the mind. Whether it's peace from the five hindrances, at least from several of those, noticing that peace when the hindrances abate. Ease from having to perform, be busy, perform your duties in the world.
peace from willing, wanting, manipulating things to be other than they are. Peace of stillness, peace of calm. And imagining the peace beyond all arising and passing away. The absolute peace of contentment, Nibbana, where there's nothing more to be done. So I'm going to chant this little verse and then go through each word to see if the mind can pick up on where those words are pointing to, to help mold the mind in the direction of peace, that little bit closer to the ending of all suffering. Hey, Tam, San, Tam. Etam panitam Yadidam sape sankara samato Sabu padi patinisago Tanha kayo Virago nirodo Nibbanam. Etam santam. Etam panitam. Yadidam sape sankara samato. Sabupadi patinisago Tanhakayo Virago Nirodo Nebanam Etam Stantam Nibbana is peaceful. Etam panitam. It is subtle. Refined. Yadidam sabe sankara samato. The stilling of all will and everything formed by the will. All conditioned phenomena stilled, calmed, settled down. Sabupadi Patinisago. Relinquishing. All the forces, the tendencies of the mind that lead to rebirth. Tanha Kayo, the destruction of wanting. Virago, fading, disappearing, the ending of things. Nirodo stopping, ceasing. Nibbanam. 
the final goal, nothing more to be done, the complete ending of suffering, and all conditioned phenomena. Etam Santam, it is peaceful. Allow the mind to incline to deeper and deeper peace. Peace. Peace from the defilements. Peace from thinking. Peace between the thoughts. Noticing, valuing peace. As the mind settles and deepens, into more and more peaceful states. It is peaceful, deeply peaceful, silent, still. Noticing the happiness of peace, the relief when everything slows and settles down. Peace. Peace. Peace in the body, peace in the mind. Etam Panita. Nibbana is subtle, refined. Allow the mind to become more and more subtle. 
sensitive, soft, Condition states are coarse, hindrances are coarse, thinking is coarse. Peace is soft, refined. Allow the mind to become softer, more and more transparent, wide, gentle, refined. Sabe Sankara Samato. Nibbana is the stilling of all formations, all will. Everything conditioned by will. All conditioned phenomena, the body, sights, sounds. Thinking. Allow everything to be pacified, to be stilled, to be samatad, quietened down. No more pushing and pulling, trying to fix things up. Everything just still, settled, like making an armistice with your mind. The body fading, becoming more and more light, subtle, transparent, deep tranquility, deep calm. Sabupadi Patinisago, giving up, relinquishing 
of all those forces, those tendencies or energies in the mind that lead to rebirth, giving them up. No more planning, hoping, expectation. Just for this moment, being completely silent and still. No future. No past. Perfectly poised. in the peace of the present moment. Giving up. Patinisaga. Relinquishing. All hope, all attachment, all rebirth. Letting go. Letting go. Surrendering all notions of individuality, identity, ownership. Letting go completely. Into the Dhamma. Tanha Kayo, the destruction of wanting. When you're content, there's nothing to want. Noticing the peace of the mind that wants for nothing. Fully satiated. Fully content. No more clinging, craving, thirst. Just settling more and more deeply, fully into where you already are. No more craving, no more wanting. Absolutely peaceful, fully content. There's nothing more to do.
Virago. When there's no more craving, everything starts to fade away. Notice things disappearing. Thoughts disappearing, agitation disappearing. A sense of who you are, your past, fading away like a mist. Everything that was solid starts to fade, melt, evaporate. Leaving nothing but peace. Fading, disappearing into more and more refined states. Nirodo cessation. The ending of all conditions, all condition phenomena. Noticing the ending of things. Things come into being and cease. In that ceasing, there's nothing but peace. Allowing all suffering to cease. The body to cease, the senses. Just slowly fade and cease. Nibbana. The flame going out. The end of suffering. The end of conditioned things. Nibbana paramam sukham. Nibbana is the highest happiness. The happiness of peace. Allowing the mind to follow in the direction of peace and the joy of peace, the happiness, not depending on any conditioned thing. Nibbanam. You finish the job. Nothing more to be done. Just enjoying the peace.
allowing that peace to draw you inward into deeper and deeper states of peace.
Noticing peace. Valuing whatever peace is there in your heart, whether a little or a lot. Is there smiling at that peace? Is there peace for a very dear and valued friend? And imagining that peace flowing outward like a beautiful soft white light bringing peace to those around you, peace to all of us here together, practicing to put everything down. Etam Santam Etam Panitam Yadida Sape Sankara Samato Sabu Padi Padiness Ago Tanakayo Virago Nirodo Nibbanam Etam Santam Etam Panitam Yadidam Sape Sankara Samato Sabu Padi Patinisago Tanakayo Virago Nirodo Nibbanam Keeping that peace in your heart. The peace of the body. Peace between the thoughts as you gently open your eyes and take a quiet break before the Sutta class. Ah, uh, it is, uh, it is.